You were, Ray, among the first people to computerize, if you will, systematize, computerize the investment process, right? To turn your ideas, your principles, into algorithms and put them to work in financial markets. I don't know of anybody who has tried to computerize the management process the way that you have. Why do you think it is that Ray Dalio, in that respect, is out there on his own? Um, I think it's going, uh, going to happen. Um, I think I learned at a very, you know, many years ago that almost anything that I think I can computerize the criteria for making decisions. By the way, that would be one of the greatest gifts I can give people is the understanding of um, when you're thinking what cri I'm, I'm making a decision. Now slow up and think, what are the criteria? Write those criteria down. You can put those criteria into equations because the brain is 89 billion neurons, which are little computers, and then it gets input from the outside. Well, th that, what your brain is doing, can in many ways be done better by the computer if you go through that exercise. So I learned that almost any decision making could be computerized. So now, whenever I'm dealing with people, I realized that that could be put into algorithms. Okay, now imagine the power of that. Just like the, in the investment. Because all it knows, all of that information. It knows what all those people are like. It knows what's happening. And when it has all that power of all of that information, and it has those types of criteria, it can bring to you all of that. And it makes the, that decision in the same way our investment can be making decisions. So right now, it's working like a GPS works in parallel. And I think that's, by the way, the best. When you have an, um, the computer making the decision like a GPS makes a decision and you're making a decision in parallel, those two things line up and you make better decisions. And all, all companies eventually will, will, will do this kind of thing. Yeah. And people too? Yeah. I think that you're going to, you're, you're not far f from being able to go to your smartphone and just like you call in Google and you say, what am I, um, you know, what's the facts? And you get your facts like this, that you'll be able to call in and get your advice. Um, idea meritocratic decision making by experts. You see, two things are coming together at the same time. And that is radical transparency and algorithmic decision making. Okay, radical transparency means that almost anybody can know almost everything about you, maybe more than your wife knows about you, because you're leaving these, this data, these fingerprints all over the place. So the data on you gives you a profile so that the computer knows you, okay? You take that data and you put it together with algorithms, and those algorithms are going to say, how do I deal with him? in a way that's better, more tailored to you than the human could, that's where we are, right? Is the outcome inevitably good? Because if you think about it, the outcome of a system like that, particularly put to bad use, could be frightening. Well, it's like most things. It has good and, good and bad sides to it. But I think that, um, like we found it m miraculous because uh, you certainly can make better decisions. You can make those decisions idea meritocratically if everybody's involved in making those algorithms. In other words, like I wrote the principles in the book, mm -hmm. you could write an algorithm. And since everybody agrees on the algorithm, they agree on the decision-making criteria.